have a particular model that we've developed that involves collecting data in the clinic through someone through remote monitoring devices as they move through their environment and in their home. And it's actually really important to do all three of these pieces. And I'm gonna explain why. And this analysis was a little bit harder because we had ranked data. So for all 14 locations, we had the ranks of their COVID incidents and mortality rates. Um, and then we ranked the percentage of mask wearing. Um, and so we were able to use a Spearman's correlation coefficient, which is the non-parametric counterpart of the Pearson correlation coefficient. And Spearman correlation coefficients is really great because you can use it with ordinal data or things like ranks like we had in this case. And so we were allowed, we were used Spearman's correlation coefficient to examine the association between the percentage of mask wearing and the incidence and mortality of COVID in each of the zip codes for the locations that the field observers um, were located. Now I'm going to look at some of the barriers to involving people with disability in research and how we can remove them. So one of the biggest barriers might be the attitude of researchers where especially people with intellectual disability are considered to be providing uh, weak or less rigorous evidence. And there's a tendency often to consider the evidence from people with disability as experiential rather than expert. And the way to get around that is to increase disability awareness. I'm gonna talk about cell phone technologies principally and three uses of them. One of them is for research, a second is for the assessment of exposure to COVID, and the third is monitoring uh, people in quarantine. There's also a lot of research on helping people cope and adjust with the huge emotional trauma of being a patient in the intensive care unit. One of the methodological issues that is being used in the intensive care unit is writing patients' diaries just the narrative of that patient experience can help them put the pieces together and help them reflect and, be, and process the events of a critical care illness experience. 